Bismillah. Hi. Today I will share with you how to make an HMI template for the TIA portal for an S7-1200 PLC. I downloaded an application note for a PID compact from Siemens and I like the way they did their HMI. So if I click on the HMI, go in online and choose simulation, I can see their HMI even if I don't have the hardware itself. As you can see, it has a lovely uh, home screen. And if I click on those buttons, I can see a different screen will be displayed. And I can display anything in any screen. So I like this idea of tabs. So what I will do, I will share with you how to make an HMI with the same template of this one. So what I will do, I'll open a new TIA portal. I'll add a device, an HMI, and I'll choose a KTP700, the same one they used in the example. I will not use the wizard, although you can use it. Now, when I add this, I, I will go to the screens and I'll add number of the screen the same number of the tabs i want to create so i think three it will be fine so i'll rename this as screen zero now in the hmi tags i will go for show all tags by default you can see here i have a tag called tag screen number it's by default available in the HMI. I'll add a new tag and I'll call it screen state. I'll choose it also to be unsigned integer. Now, I'll go to the screen management, templates, and template one. So basically, this is the screen that every screen will inherit. I will delete what I don't need. Of course, you can keep the things you need. So for me, I'll delete all of this. And I'll add, you can add here, uh, like this rectangle, and you can add in this rectangle an information or an IO. Uh, it's, it's up to your choice. So now in my template, I'll start to add the buttons. And in the properties of those buttons, I'll start to change the name. So first of all, I choose the button. I'll go to miscellaneous. I'll call this as button one. And it's the off button. And I'll change the layer it will be. I'll put it in layer 1. Now, I'll go to general. You can use text. I'll choose graphic because I want it to be look the similar way uh, the Siemens program has. I'll choose the home. And if I go to layout, if I click on no stretching, and I'll give it some picture margin, 15 from the left, 15 from the right, and 10 from button. I hope this looks lovely. Now, in the event, in the event of the click, I'll choose set tag. Remember the tag we added to the tag table, screen estate? I'll choose it and give it a value of 1. So what will happen is when, whenever I click on this button, the tag screen state will have a value of 1. And also, in the event, I'll call the activate screen. And I'll call the first screen or screen 0. So that when I click on this button, screen 0 will be active and will shown. So, remember the name, the picture, and in the event, I'll add a set tag and the activate screen for the off. 
Now, for the on button, I'll just click this button, hold the control key, and drag and drop. So I don't have to do all the, the same work again with the picture and the filling. So I'll go here to properties of the button. And in miscellaneous, I'll rename this now as button one, but it is the on button. And here in the fill pattern, I'll just change the color for the gradient. I'll make it from this color to this color. Or any type of color you will think it's good. Now, I have to check the name for this. So it is an on button. I'll put it in layer 2. I change the filling. And in the event, I don't need to activate the screen. So I'll delete this event. So it's only the set tag. But in animation, I'll add a visibility. So this tag of screen state, this one will be visible and the screen state tag will be one. So finish the first one. Now, I'll click on the first button, hold the control, drag and drop. I'm creating my second button. So I'll go to properties, miscellaneous, it's button, I'll call it button two off. And it's the same layer in layer one. So all my off buttons will be in layer one, all the on buttons will be in layer two. So I'll go back to properties. I'll choose a different picture for this. Let's take the left arrow picture. If you don't like how it looks like, go to layout, stretch, and you will have your picture. So here in the event, the set screen state, I'll change its value now to be two. And I'll call a different screen when I click this button. So I'll call screen one. So I'll, I'm changing the value when it's clicked. The properties, I change the name of it. Now, for the on button, I'll actually drag and drop, hold the control and drag and drop this one. And do the same thing. It's button two on. It's in layer two, as I want it to be. And in the animation, in the visibility, it will be visible when the state screen state is actually two, so that it will be visible. And in the event, it will take a screen, will set tag the screen state to value of two. I forgot here also to change the picture. So I'll go to general graphic and I'll choose the left arrow. And in the layout, screen stretch, so it will be identical to the on button. Now, I'll do this one more time. I hold the control, drag and drop. I'll have now my third on button, off button, sorry. So if I go to miscellaneous, I'll rename it as button three. It's in layer one. In the event, the set tag screen three, and it will activate screen, the third screen or screen two, that what will be activated. And I'll change also the picture so that we can have a different picture. I'll choose the right arrow, look nice. Now I'll drag and drop and by holding the control key, the on, and I'll do exactly the same. I'll go to miscellaneous. Now it's button three on. It's, I wanted also all the on buttons to be in layer two. 
I wanted this to be visible when the screen state tag has a value of three. And this is done when, if I, if I click on it, the tag, the set tag will have value of screen tag, screen state tag to value of three. Now, the thing that I want to do is I'll go to the screen themselves. And you can see here, the, the root screen was default. It's already in when it's loaded, the set tag, tag screen number has a value of one. So I'll go to screen one. And you can see here in the properties in general, I'll choose the template that I just created. And you can see already my screen, how it look like. I'll fix this in a moment. But what I need here to add in the event, when loaded, I want to set tag. And remember the default tag, which is the tag screen number, I'll give it a value of two. Where do I benefit from this? When this screen will be loaded, the value of this tag will change. I can use this value tag to enable part of my code in the OB, either in the main or any part. I can use this value to enable portion of my code so that when this screen will be on, will be loaded, this part will be active. So I'll do the same thing here for screen two. When it is loaded, set the tag, and I'll give it a value. I'll choose tag screen number and I'll give it value of three. Now, the only thing I forgot to do here is I'll hold and drag the on button over the off button. And of course, you can add a rectangle, you can change its color, uh, put the shapes in the way you want. So it has some, some cleaning design wise for sure. And just in order to, to know where I am, this will come with screen zero. I'll add the text here so that I know this is screen two. And I'll add here a text. You can see here, I didn't change the template. So properties, general, I'll choose template one and I'll add a text screen three. So now let's go to online simulation start. Yes, okay. He by default he'll choose one of those screens to be your default. So if I click to the home, you can see how the color change, and I have screen one. If I click on the second one, I can see now the on is visible for this, and I can see the content of screen two. If I click on the third one, I can see the the on state of this button, and I can see the content of screen three. For sure, design wise, this need to be cleaned. And I can add a lot more information to make this, to make this uh, attractive. But this is the start how to do a tab screens. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video.